Okay guys, it's Giant Mac, and I forgot to let you know that whenever you do take off plastic, I mean, I didn't make any mistakes, but whenever you do take off your plastic and you take off your original stencil, you have to be very, very careful. Uh, you do not want to get any of the old paint uh, onto your project. What you want to do is you basically want to slowly remove it from the outside, inside, but what you do need to do is you need to get a small box cutter and cut around the outside edge of your stencil where all the plastic is, okay? Around your cardboard or construction paper and then you need to cut around it and then peel it off slowly. After that, then you just have your stencil itself sitting on there. And what you want to do at that point is uh, you want to basically lift up from the outside all the way around and then go to the inside parts of the project and once when you go to the inside parts of your project then you want to look at see what kind of overspray you have okay and i'm looking here uh there's bits of uh overspray everywhere or that could be just paint dust i'm not sure uh so what you want to do is you want to take a wet cloth and wipe all that down you can see some sparkle that the sparkle green that got out of control there and I'm gonna handle that with a wet sponge get this with a wet sponge and uh, clean it up a little bit okay you don't want to use an old sponge you want to use a new one uh, you can buy them at the Dollar Tree really easy really simple okay uh, after I've wiped it down I still you need to let it dry okay then after you've let it dry then uh, you're ready for your uh, next colors, which uh, I can't wait to uh, show you. Uh, so you definitely want to uh, buff before then, and then after you've buffed, uh, you want to use your paints. I'm using a high performance enamel by Rustoleum for the base coat, which was the original base coat on this, but. It, I had to sand it down so that way I could put down the uh, Green Monster logo. And then after I sand, after uh, you put this on it, then comes your next part. My suggestion is this. You can put like, a, uh, I was going to say, I'm going with the glitter, rust -Oleum glitter, and I'm also going with a color coat uh, like a chameleon uh, changing, like, a, um, sorry, a galaxy blue Rust-Oleum can. And that galaxy blue, what it does is it'll change color in the sunlight. I know, pretty badass, right? And then you'll love it. Uh, can't wait till I get these three paints on, because once I get these three paints on, then I can finally go with my yellow. If any of y'all don't know what yellow means when it comes to painting uh, a vehicle, Yellow is basically your clear coat, okay? Now for every layer of regular paint that you have, okay, you need to go to three to five coats of clear coat on your project, okay? So basically I have one, two, three on there right now. I'm about to put four, five, six layers. That means I need to put 12 coats. Uh, so for every one coat, you need to put two so of clear coat so i have to put 12 coats a clear coat and after that dries i need to buff it not sand it buff it I buff it wax it okay or vice versa i still need to learn on that <laughs> and i'll learn on other videos online uh and that's how i learned how to do this so uh let's get started um i'm not going to show you while i'm doing it because i have no way of holding my phone in my shop not yet i'm, I'm going to get to that uh, comment if you have any suggestions or comment if you think uh, I'm doing it wrong. I mean, I, I take input just like everybody else. I'm very uh, much uh, consider construction criticism on this. If you say it's, you know, you say I'm like messing it up or whatever, fine. You know, I'll learn from it, right? We all learn from uh, our mistakes and there are always tons of mistakes that happen. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let this dry because you need to let it dry for about eh, with 49 degree weather 
with two fans going on. You need to let it dry for about 30, 45 minutes, okay? And then after you let it dry for 30, 45 minutes, then you can continue on. All right, let's get started. <laughs> 